We are back for the 49ers Unscripted Podcast presented by Microsoft Surface. Joined by 49ers rookie running back Elijah Mitchell here on the set of our 49ers studios. This is your first time at the studio, right? First time. So what do you think of our digs? How are how you liking it? I like it. I like it. Okay, good. That means we'll get you here back here often. No worries. That's all he meant. <laughs> no, but but since you you this is your first year, and I know a lot of your time is spent on the practice field. You're in the locker room. You're on the field here at Levi Stadium. Have you had a chance to kind of check out the stadium at all? I have not. Have no. Not, not at all. All right. We're going to have to set that up. We're going to have to take you on a tour, check out the stadium, some really cool places. I know we have Tessa from PR. She is very knowledgeable about the area, so she can probably show you some really dope things here. All right, but all, right. all good. How about the Bay Area? Have you had a chance to check out the Bay? Have not had a chance to check out the Bay. Have not. All right, we're, so this is what we're going to have to do. I'm going to have to have every listener, every viewer, you're going to have to shoot Elijah some suggestions on where he has to check out in the Bay Area. But anything you're looking forward to checking out? I really don't have anything in mind okay. right now. All right, that's fine. That's okay. We're going to send you some suggestions, so we'll get that all squared away. But let's talk a little bit about Sunday's game. Obviously, it's not the outcome that you or this entire team wanted, but – just looking at the elements, have you ever been a part of a game like what we saw on Sunday? Uh, matter of fact, back home in Erath, uh, we played in a wet game just like that, but it was like slop way like muddy or sloppier. So I wasn't, I was kind of excited about it. A okay. Bit. Yeah, oh, so, so you embrace the yeah, conditions. Yeah, I embrace it. I kind of like playing in the rain. Okay. All yeah. right. But when you're playing in the rain and especially a downpour like this in the game that you played in back at home, does that ever affect your approach to a game? Just considering, you know, wanting to protect the football, how slick it could be. Does anything change in your preparation? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, like going into a game where it's raining, you just, you always gotta, you worry about the ball because it can easily get punched out or anything. And then, uh, that's one thing that we express around here is just protecting the ball. The ball is everything. So yeah, that's that's one thing. It didn't look like it affected your game much. You put up another 100 yard game, actually a career high 107 yards on 18 carries. Uh, you had your touchdown. Um, but how have you challenged yourself just looking back to let's say training camp and then going into the regular season and now coming off of week seven? How have you challenged yourself to get better at this point? At the season uh, really uh, like you say during training camp just trying to get in and make plays and stuff really and uh, I just always had in my mind that I wanted to uh, be a playmaker for the team so now it's starting to happen and I just gotta take advantage of it absolutely and now of course I'd assume more than anything you guys would prefer the win but I, I would like for you to just kind of take us into the locker room right now obviously this team is nowhere where they want to be right now but just from what we've heard from the press conferences and from Kyle Shanahan and a lot of the veterans and the leaders on this team, they still have, you can sense a little bit of fight still in this team. What have you seen? What have you heard? Just take us into that locker room and, and tell us a little bit about what's the feeling in there. Uh, like I said, the feeling after a loss is just, it's really just dead. It's like, man, like we know we're a better team and we got to do better. So uh, like Fred said, man, we better than that. We got to do better. And we plan on doing better, but that's one thing we always don't have the fight in us because we're trying to get to one goal, and that's the Super Bowl. Yeah. Uh, Fred, obviously a veteran leader on this team. And speaking of veterans, there's a vet that's been around the team, I, I want to say literally since the 49ers were without him, and that's Raheem Mostert. You see him around the facility. You see him on the sidelines at practice. He just had surgery, and he's out there on the field in this game in the rain. But what has it been like just having Raheem around, and what kind of resource has he been for you in your growth and development? Oh, it's been real awesome having him around. Like I said, he just got off of surgery, and he was on the field uh, bringing energy, so that's always a good thing to see. Uh, but, yeah, Raheem, he always been there for us, uh, just coaching us up. If he see anything, just expressing about details. So Raheem been a, a big help for us. Yeah, and I think even prior to his surgery, I think during the games he was on the sidelines with you guys, and you also have Coach Bobby T there. When you come off the field, do you ever get to kind of come up to them and have them coach you up a little bit? What are those interactions like? Uh, it, it's very good. Uh, if Coach, coach uh, Bobby T, if he has something to say, uh, he let us know if you want to hit us with something. Or sometimes I just go up to him and be like, hey, Coach, you want to hit me with anything? But uh, if Raheem, also if Raheem see anything, he'll be like, hey, man, uh, just press a little bit more. So he always helping out. So that's, that's, that's big. 
Speaking of Coach Bobby T, I love that when I said his name, your face kind of lit up a little bit. But how has it been just being under Coach Bobby T? He's so respected around the league. And every time, like, even when I talk to Kyle Juszczyk about him, he's just like, man, Coach Bobby, like, he has, he's glowing and he has so much to say about him. But what's it been like for you being under him? Man, it's been it's been really awesome being around him. Uh, like I say, he's a he's an unbelievable coach. He's he he's amazing. He's teaching you everything. So Coach Bobby T, he's hard he's hard on you for a reason because he know that you could be great. So uh, just have him being able to coach me, and like you said, he's known around the league to be the, one of the best coaches. So. I'm honored to be here and to be coached by him. Yeah, a lot of people love Coach Bobby T, and you look at the 49ers and how how much they value that run game. So it only makes sense, especially when you look at a coach like him. But speaking of, you know, we talked about Raheem being a resource and Coach Bobby T. Have there been any other veterans, whether that's in this 49, 49ers locker room or outside of this locker room, that have really kind of helped you uh, along the way so far this year? Yeah, uh, like you said, Juice, uh, that's, that's one guy I always talk to. He's always helping me out. He always bring the energy in practice. He, he just keep you going, really. Like, even if you down or you mess up on something, he like, man, let's go, we good, like, type thing. So, man, Juice been a big help, and he, he's been a role model for me. Awesome. I love that. Um, I want to ask you a little bit about your speed before we wrap this up. Uh, you're, pretty, you're known as a pretty speedy guy, and if I'm not mistaken, my sources have told me that you've clocked in at a 4.33 in the 40. Is that, is that accurate? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. All right, so I want to ask you, just looking at this locker room, who would you say, besides yourself, might be maybe who rounds out the top three fastest players on the 49ers roster? Because we've had guys in this seat who have said it's themselves, but I want to ask you, who do you think's got some wheels in the locker room? Trent Cannon got some wheels. Okay. That, he's he's one person that I know for sure got some wheels. Okay, okay. Yeah. Trent Cannon, Trent Cannon, mm -hmm. shout, shout out to Trent. All mm -hmm. right, anybody else that we can throw into this mix? Debo. Debo. Debo, Debo got some speed on him too now. Okay, yeah. all right. I'm going to let you know right now, Jimmy Ward is going to be very offended that you have not thrown his name in this mix. He has said that he, he said he was one of the fastest guys. So have you got to, gotten a witness, Jimmy, maybe? No, not yet. Not yet? No, okay. No, All right, Jimmy, you got you to gotta step your uh, speed up in that 40. But with that, Elijah, it was an absolute pleasure to sit here and chat with you. Um, I, we're looking forward to what you do on Sunday. And we're definitely looking forward to this 49ers team being able to just turn the ship around and looking forward to better days uh, starting in week eight. Most definitely. Thank you for having me. Yeah, for sure. Did you enjoy that video? Make sure to check out these other ones.